In 2012, DARPA, which is the research division of the military, started a program. It's called the Adept Protect P3 Program, Pandemic Prevention Platform. Look what they proposed. They said, listen, we are going to use gene-encoded vaccines as a new category of preventive measures based on RNA or DNA. And in this approach, we will stop a pandemic within 60 days. Within 60 days, in 2012, this was started. When President Trump came out and said it's Operation Warp Speed and they're going to develop vaccines, it would have been nice if he was prepped or Anthony Fauci was prepped to say, listen, we're working on this. We've been working on this since 2012. This is not new. This isn't warp speed. This is 10 years in coming. The deception out in the open that this was rapidly developed, that there was all this stunning innovation. The contractors, Moderna got its first multi-million million dollar contract in 2013. The military works on programs, both the threat, SARS-CoV-2, and work on the answer, monoclonal antibodies and vaccines. But the military has biological threat programs. There's one for smallpox, monkeypox. There's one for anthrax. Uh, and who knows how many more programs. This was part of a program. But the military came up with the idea of messenger RNA vaccines, not Pfizer or Moderna, not Operation Warp Speed. It wasn't in response to what was, you know, came out of Wuhan, China. This is a military program. When it was announced by Health and Human Services, Alex Azar, in the Department of Defense, that's who entered into this, you know, ushered us into the vaccine era. The military. Emergency use authorization is a mechanism to get rapid new technology into the military. It's not, it's not a mechanism for the public. Its first application broadly to the public was with the COVID-19 pandemic. That's the reason why the FDA doesn't seem like they have any ownership over this. They can't seem to respond to it because it's a military program. This has a military uh, origin to it. And the program is executed like a military program. No one will be spared. There's no exceptions. Uh, you can kind of see that the similarities there. 